India, one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Its achievements in industry, agriculture and space science are also well known. However, as India prepares itself for becoming an economic superpower, it must expedite the process of overcoming institutional and infrastructure bottlenecks inherent in the system. It is still home to 680 million people who cannot meet essential needs like food, water and shelter. This surging demand is stressing on our ecosystem with overutilization of natural resources. The battle for people's and planet's well-being is challenging. Indian economy holds the responsibility to meet the development needs of its billion plus population within its environmental boundaries. Thus, we are presented with a huge opportunity and responsibility to provide solutions which are sustainable, inclusive and targets to align and track national progress with the triple bottom line of environment, social and economics. So we must congratulate ourselves as a global community for agreeing to work on global sustainable goals. But challenge is going to be how to involve non-governmental actors into this. Government will do, government will set policies, government will set programs, implementation of that will depend upon largely about the participation, the involvement of the civil society organizations. And I think luckily we have quite a few of them in the country. Good example of that is development alternative itself, which is leading from the front. Development alternatives in 2007 thought to be a part of this changing process and started the journey called Taragram Yatra. With an overarching view of addressing the diverse policy issues, challenges and transitions required in the sustainable development process. It brings together top-level practitioners and policy makers from across the world to create space for transformation. With a mix of dialogue and field visits, the Yatra provides a platform to address the complex challenges of sustainable development. The journey so far DA has successfully conducted seven Taragram Yatras from 2010 to 2016 with a different theme each year. 2010 Towards Green Economies, Scalable Solution for People and Our Planet It prioritized specific issues of transition towards renewable energy, sustainable construction, water management, water recycling and sustainable agriculture. 2011 Resource Efficiency and Green Transformation – Driving Change in Asia It brought together practitioners and policy makers from across South Asia to explore good practice cases and develop action strategies for resource efficient and climate responsive economic models. 2012 Sustainable Development in South Asia – Women Driving Change it focused on the role of women in leading the world towards sustainable livelihoods, green enterprises and the policies required to develop capacities and skills of women across South Asia. 2013 Safe Water for All and Always – Science, Policy, Markets It focused on designing strategies for enabling access to safe drinking water to all and provided a forum for stimulating debate, exchange ideas experiences and learning of professionals working in this sector. The major highlight was the Taragram Mela and the roadmap on interventions needed to scale up technology access to safe water to communities through markets. 2014 2014 Yatra explored the transitions that India is making and needs to make in its economic strategies, social processes and environment management systems to achieve human well-being on a healthy planet. 2015 India post-2015 Investing in Sustainability This Yatra celebrated the historic 2030 Global Agenda for Sustainable Development and took a hard look at what it means for India. It became a constructive exercise to evaluate the gap in achieving the 17 development goals of India. 2016 Policy shifts for implementing the Sustainable Development Goals in India this Yatra focused on the nature of policy shifts required to implement Agenda 2030 in our country. 2017 Economies for People and Planet This year's discussion will advance an assessment framework for economies that gives balanced weight to economic prosperity, equitable opportunity, a healthy and productive environment 
and participatory governance to move towards the vision of well-being for people, profit and the planet.